Welcome to the news. Our main headline today is the story of famous TV chef's wife, Francoise de Joux. She was found leaving the house of an unknown man on the early hours of Sunday morning. The identity of the man is not known, but it's believed from a close friend of Mrs. de Joux that the affair has been going on for over a year now. More on that story later. Now to Simon with the story. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Cooking Live with Francois. And boy, have I got a surprise for you today. A dish rarely cooked anywhere in the world, yet surprisingly satisfying. I can't begin to tell you the enjoyment I had making this dish, so I guess I'll just have to show you. Now, you're going to need some essential ingredients. First of all, you're going to need some vegetables, maybe a couple of carrots, you know, some peppers, some mushrooms. But don't forget the onions. You've got to have onions. Every good meal has onions in it. And I like onions. Do you love onions? Let's begin with the chopping. Chopping with vegetables, that is. You're going to want to cut them into small pieces. Fingernail size, maybe. But if you want, larger sizes do work as well. It doesn't affect the taste at all. Now, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Uh, that will do. Here's what I made earlier. Now you want to put this in the fridge. Well, it needs to be kept. Keep it fresh for frying later. Now, for the meat. When you're eating this, and it's the tender slices are sliding down your throat, you won't know what's hit you. A taste of an unimaginable ecstasy. <laughs> now for my favourite part, the carving. <laughs> and for this, you're going to need a very sharp knife. <sighs> doesn't matter how you hit it, it doesn't even matter how big the pieces are, it will cut through it. So, you just want to cut through it like so, it doesn't really matter how how, <laughs> doesn't matter how accurate you are, because it'll all work. Go through the meat, the muscle, uh, yeah, just like that. Maybe turn it a little bit. Ah, uh, good piece. Good piece there. Now, you know what you should do once you've handled meat like that? You must wash your hands, because you don't want the... Uh, vile, disgusting, repulsive diseases from all the meat on your hands now, do you? Hi. <laughs> now, once you've washed off all the vile, disgusting things, you want to be cooking, but I'm not going to show you that today. Now, instead, I'm going to show you. What's I need to have here? Mmm. That's good meat. <laughs> no filth. No lies. No cheating son of his wife. <laughs> so I'll happily die in bed with you, telling you to your face that she's had a lovely day shopping, or oh, seen the girls, when really she's been mounted like the dog she is. By a man, mm -hmm. by a man who knows she's married. <laughs> a man who knows she's married. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? Fuck's a married woman. <laughs> I'm not a shady woman. <laughs> My wife. My wife. Uh, I don't even know who I am. <laughs> I'm Chef Francois de Jean. <laughs> the whore had to pay <laughs> for what she did to me. 
you don't understand why. Right? You don't just fuck some other bloke behind your husband's back for years. <laughs> years. <laughs> Fucking year! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so, you all sat there in your little homes thinking, Chef Francois Chihon has gone mad. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm a man, a chef, an artiste. <laughs> uh, and she did this anyway. She did this. Oh, yeah. She led me to it. <laughs> she made me do what I had to do. <laughs> she did. It was her. It was her. It was her, it was her, it was her, it was her. <laughs> and now, <laughs> for a surprise, I promised you all. She did this, so here she is, Vanna. Today we bring you a special report, uh, an event that shocked the nation. Of course, it's the story of Francois de Joux, who not only killed, but appeared to eat his wife live on television. De Joux has since been taken into custody and was found in his kitchen yesterday evening. Um, that is the only details the police have been able to give us, but we believe that the trial will take place at the Old Bailey in around six months' time. Obviously, this is a shocking and tragic story, and our thoughts are with the family and friends of Mr. De Joux.